Hey guys, it is me, Hepisarik, and welcome back to Last Center Survival. So today is hopefully the day when we will finally finish building these barracks. So all we need is just four extra screws, so we're gonna try to get them from the motel. Again, you don't always even get those four screws. Sometimes you get three, sometimes you get zero. I've heard people literally getting no screws for clearing that motel basement, but hopefully we're gonna be lucky and we'll get four of those screws. So let's click this special button, let's fast travel to our base, let's get enough weapons, and then let's go and let's clear the motel. And after that, we're probably gonna go and clear the farm location because inside of that farm location we can get some of those iron wires in order to build the wall so that's what we're going to be doing but before we do all of those things i'd like to say welcome welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream and if you're watching this live stream after it's over then head to the pin comments down below there are going to be timestamps that you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker so now let's get enough weapons and let's go to that motel basement it's been probably one or two or three days since we've cleared that motel basement Buddy, that, that ain't gonna stop us. We'll get us a machete. I'll probably get a few weapons. And as soon as we are done with that, let's go to the farm location. Hopefully, we'll get four screws. I don't want to get three screws. I don't want to get two screws. I don't want to get zero screws. I want to get four screws today, right now. That's it. That's all I'm asking for. Let's get a cold python. Why not? We have it. We might as well just use it. And I'm pretty certain that's more than enough weapons for that basement uh, for the farm location. We'll come back here. We'll get more weapons. If necessary. That's way too many weapons. I know, guys, that we are taking way too many weapons, but hey, better more than not enough. That's what I usually say. So let's get that. The machete, the Glock, the healing items, and that is it, ladies and gents. Let's up on the chopper and let's roll. It's like, what time do you post Miss Survival? So welcome to those that have just joined the stream. And about Miss Survival, tomorrow there is a new Miss Survival video. Like, I'm 99% certain that new Miss Survival video is going to come out tomorrow. So there's that. And yeah, yesterday we finished a uh, raft. So maybe soon ish there will be a raft live stream where we will try to upgrade our raft. I'm kind of excited about it. We still have that thing, the wrecked ship event that we will visit. And I probably checked the calendar as well. And I don't think we have any new events today. We still have that port laboratory event. So maybe we're going to clear it today. We'll see how many of those carbon composites and factory parts we can get. But as you guys told me, it looks like you can get only 10 carbon composites and 10 factory parts before you could get stack of each. But now you only get a half of a stack of each. So there's that. Miss Survival, please. There will be more Miss Survival tomorrow. There is a new Miss Survival coming out tomorrow. So there is that. All right, let's deal with these roaming zombies. I'll go get my free grenade from the motel. And then we will hop in the basement. Wait, let's open this up. Let's deal with some of these roaming zombies. What do you think the hardest item to get? I, I don't really know. It depends. I mean, transmissions are kind of rare, but at the same time, you get them quite easily, especially at the very beginning when you go to spin caps. Like, they give you a free ATV transmission. Almost. But then... To assemble your ATV fully is kind of hard. So probably the rarest item. If ATV would be the rarest item, then ATV is the rarest item. Like, it's the rarest vehicle. That's what I would say. Alright, let's deal with roaming schmucks. Let's loot the door. Let's get that grenade. And let's hop in the basement. Hottest item is berry tea grass. What? Berry tea and grass is the rarest item? Okay. I will roll with that. There we go, we've gotten our free grenade. I do know we could clear f uh, this motel fully, maybe we'd get like some sort of a broken Glock or whatever, but... That's just waste of time in my humble opinion. I'd rather go in the basement and get my loot there. Go and please four screws. That's all I need. I just want four screws. I wish they've put this basement somehow else because it's kind of hard to click on it with all those trees around it. There's no way I'm the only one that's kind of struggling to enter in the basement. It's not like we are really struggling, but you need to kind of wiggle around that basement in order to enter it because, yeah, you just, you're just selecting trees. How to unlock the basement? You just, it's just always unlocked. Just go to the motel and that's it. You'll have the basement. There we go. Let's deal with the fast rotter. God, please. Please, four screws. That's all I want. Stop spitting! Just stop it. Get some help. Alright, I'll deal with some of these extra rotten yokels. Crawlers. And we will get our screws. What's up, Sykes? Says Slog. Slog, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Everything's going great. Hopefully everything's going great on your side as well. Welcome, welcome. 
And there we go, there's the box. Imagine we get nothing, which is- it's totally possible. As I've heard from you guys getting zero screws here, so screws apparently are not guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed in this game. Go on, four screws, baby, four screws. If I don't get four screws, I'll uninstall the game. We got five screws, ladies and gents! That's epic! That's all we wanted! So we can get back to the base, we can finish building those barracks. It's epic. It is awesome. Awesome. 10 out of 10. Awesome, ladies and gents. Let's get back to the base now. Let's finish this, and then let's go to the farm location, and, uh... Yeah, let's try to get some of those iron wires, because... We need to finish building the wall there as well. Last time we've gotten zero iron wires from the farm, so they're not guaranteed either. But hey, we got it, guys. We got five screws. Wall progress. Uh, we're gonna check the wall right now. We are going to that... Uh, whatever that place is called. Settlement. We're going to the settlement right now to check on those walls. Well, we stream early today. I mean, it depends. We usually stream around the same time, like from 3 p.m. to like 5, 6 p.m. Like that's that's around the time that I started the live stream. From 3 to 6 p.m. Central European time. New t-shirt says Adam Boss. I mean, I've had this t-shirt for probably like five, six years, maybe more, but all right, I'll take it. New t-shirt, new t-shirt. <laughs> Let's drop the screws, ladies and gentlemen, and that is it. Let's finish the barracks. We did it. We finished the barracks. We can clap, but nothing has changed, really. There, are, There's a sleeping bag. There are some more sleeping bags, and that's it. There's nothing else that changes. Like, we don't even get another event here. Like, that's it. We just had to finish building the barracks. But, progress on the wall. We have 11 iron wires out of 30. So, let's now go to the farm location. I'll go to the base. Maybe I'll get, like, another melee weapon. And let's try to clear that farm location. Let's try to get some more iron wires. And let's go. Welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. So, we have just finished building those barracks. Nothing really happened, but you know, we've done the barracks. We have them. And if that's not epic, I don't know what is epic. What I came here for, for some more melee weapons. Let's get that. There we go. Let's upgrade both of those machetes. And let's roll. It's like, what's the best weapon for beginners? Probably the best weapon for beginners is going to be the crowbar. I think. Because it's the cheapest to craft. Again, it all depends on your materials, but crowbars are quite easy to craft. I have 14 iron wires at the moment, so as gaming, very nice. Most hated location and last day on Earth. I don't even know what's the most hated location and last day on Earth. Probably the community event, at least for me. I don't really like it that much. Community event kind of stinks. What is your- I'd rather ask you guys, what is your most hated location in the game? And last day on Earth survival. I have 16 iron wires, says Adamo. Very nice. Congrats on the 16 iron wires. Let's leave this. Purple machete blueprint today, says the CG. Maybe. Maybe we'll get that purple blueprint. It's been like, what, four years of hunting for it? Maybe today's the day when we'll actually get that purple blueprint. So we just took a sip of water. So now we should be refreshed and rehydrated to go and clear this farm location. Extraction is the worst, says Rostin. I kind of like the extraction event. It's kind of fine. It's kind of fun. North locations, says Rita. North locations are kind of weird. Sector, port location, bunker, bravo. Some of you are mentioning it. All right, all right. I see a lot of people are hating different locations. Like, I don't really see a common, uh, like, one location that people would hate. It looks like a lot of you are hating all locations. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. But yeah, the community event is kind of weird. I think it would be alright if loot was a bit better, but the loot is kind of weird and you need to use a lot of weapons. The rewards are weird. I really don't like the events that have random loot. Like, I don't mind having some random loot. But... 
when it's only random loot, it's kind of weird. When you get something guaranteed and on top of that you get random loot, it's fine. But when it's only random loot, it's terrible. Because in that community event, sometimes you'll get good stuff. Sometimes you'll get, like, what? Maybe steel. Maybe... I don't even know. Maybe there's even a chance to get a purple card. But you're not always gonna get it. Most of the time you won't get it. So it's like you're, you'll waste, like, two or three guns per event. Maybe even more. Just to get nothing. That's a bit sad. That is very sad. Alright, let's deal with these rotten yokels. Oops, 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 oops. Let's avoid this guy. Again, I've shown this probably a million times, but you can wall check Savage Giant over here. You just move here like this. Oops, try not to get punched. But there we go. You should be able to wall check him like this. Let him actually come a bit closer because he's kind of now far. Here we go. Now it's going to be much easier to wall check them. But there we go. That's how you kind of fight them if you don't want to waste your melee weapons. And that's how you try to deal with every zombie here at the farm location. This way you'll save healing items and your guns. But hey, we're not really doing that. Alright, the machete sound was gone for a second. Welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. Another person saying, nice shirt today, sorry. Guys, I've had this shirt for like, as I said, probably five, six years, if not longer. What do you mean, nice shirt? <laughs> but very cool. Saik wears the same shirt that he's been wearing for five years. Chat. Oh, nice shirt, Saik. Thank you, guys. Very epic. It's like, did you finish the barracks? Yes, I finished the barracks. We finished, um, a minute ago. Well, a few minutes ago. Is Miss Survival tomorrow? Yes. New Miss Survival video tomorrow. And to those that haven't started watching Miss Survival yet, I suggest you checking it out. And if you haven't watched the most recent Wrath Let's Play that we've done here, I think we have 14 videos on Miss Survival. We have finished the game fully. It had a pretty awesome story. The game is pretty fun. It was a nice survival game, so make sure to check out that playlist as well. All right, we're gonna now shred the Revenger into tiny smithereens. Is Metal coming? Is Metal Cutter coming in the game? I have no idea. We, we don't know that. But what we know is that we've dealt with the Revenger. Let's get the two bandages. The tippity top. Searching for the blue box. I'm gonna check this side. Maybe blue box is gonna be here. Is it here? Nope, the blue box is not on that side. There are lots of zombies that we'll have to fight when we will start cutting that blue box open, so... I have a spray set. Maybe I should even get a grenade launcher to deal with them a bit faster. Do we have a cargo event? Probably we don't. No, we no longer have the cargo event. Yikes. Well, speaking of the spread set, let's actually use it right now. There we go. That was quite worthy spread shot. We damaged all those zombies just with one shot, which is kind of cool. Let's go here. Let's. I mean, guys, I can't take the poppy, but I don't have space in the base to keep them. You're like, oh my god, like really? Yes, we have an entire doggo crate with those poppies. Stop it. Even the raiders came out of nowhere. Unbelievable. Sire, take the puppy. All right, guys, I'll take that puppy. Even raiders told me to take it. Say, so let's take that puppy. Let's bring it back to the base. And let's do the puppy's crying. All right, we're gonna take it. And Happy G, thanks for the super chat. Hi, Sire. I like your shirt. Thanks, Happy G. <laughs> really cool. Thank you for the super chat. I'm glad that you're enjoying the shirt. Very epic. Very cool. Hey, Sark, what is your opinion for Bunker Charlie? It's not in the game yet, so I absolutely don't have an opinion on Bunker Charlie. Hi, Kyrick, I like your shirt. Happy G, thanks once again for the super chat. <laughs> Very cool. Very epic shirt, right? Um, Wait, I need to get my sneaking skill. Let's sneak behind the zombie and let's see if we are going to get any iron wires. 
Because we gotta get him. Last time we've gotten zero of them. Zero. Iron wires are not guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed. Like, none of those antennas are guaranteed. None of the screws are guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed. But I want my iron wires. Good shard today. Guys, stop it! The joke is dead. It's like, what do you think about the raft ending? I mean, just watch the raft ending video and you'll know my thoughts about it. I guess it's kind of cool. It is what it is. I expected to talk to more people there, but the dialogues were pretty short. I expected maybe a bit more from the ending, but it was all right. It was decent. Oh, there we go. We've gotten five iron wires. Very epic. Very, 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 very epic. We got him. So now we're going to have 16 iron wires in that wall. 14 to go. So I try to play Terraria. I think we've made a video on Terraria. Oh my god, it's like, really? Yes, we have played Terraria already. Uh, survivor notes. And nothing else here. That's it. So we can start opening up that blue box. It's like, what's the best place to use your weapons besides Bunker Alpha? To use your weapons in the police department. There we go. Let's take it. Let's got it open. They say zip gun. Guys, we're not going to pick up the zip gun. Psych, you should stream live streams Frostborn. I have live streamed some Frostborn in the past. I don't know if there will be more Frostborn, but we have played it in the past. All right, so I'm going to wait now for all of these zombies to come in one spot just so that I can use a spread shot. Because this was a pretty interesting... Uh, farm location. Sometimes you get less zombies, sometimes you get a lot of them. Alright, the spreadsheet was half decent. I'm gonna try to hide behind the wall. If that'll work, it's not always gonna work. Alright, let's get another spreadsheet. Let's wait until it resets. Take the zip gun. Guys, stop it. We're not taking the zip gun. Nice. Spreadsheet. Oh my goodness, I missed probably some of the shots there. It's so sad to waste like 80 damage on a zombie that has only 6 health. Actually, 72 damage because we do 72 damage with that shotgun. But hey, whatever. Let's uh, exit the area. Let's come back again. Let's aggro all the zombies in one spot. And then let's open up the blue box and maybe we're going to get our purple blueprint. Who knows? Everything is possible. Speaking of the purple blueprints... We're not going to get any purple blueprints in the <laughs> rest up event, but we can get guns. It's like, should I make coal by using planks or just burn wood as fuel in furnaces? I mean, it depends. Like, I would suggest you getting coal as this will. You'll use less wood, but if you have infinite amount of wood, then just burn wood. I think it just all depends on what you have. But I would suggest you getting coal. Does it last longer and and you use less planks, less wood? Can you play Seven Days to Die? We've already played Seven Days to Die on the channel. I think we've played on the live stream and on videos. All right, I'm gonna hide uh, behind the wall. And DA, thanks for being a member. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for smashing that join button, DA, and nice. Shirt, Lee Cyric. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Day. Really awesome. Thank you for complimenting the shirt. Very epic shirt. The 10 out of 10 shirt. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I'm glad that you guys are liking it. Very awesome. Do I like the shirt? It's alright, shirt. But not my favorite shirt. You might be like, why? Because it's a bit thicker. The material of this shirt is a bit thicker. So I usually wear it in the winter. I usually avoid wearing it in the summer, but hey. There's that. And we have gotten a sidearm knife. That's garbage. Well, at least that's a blue blueprint. 
We've gotten some copper and some steel. As I said, farm location is the all right place to get steel and copper. You're not always going to get it, but I think there is a high percent. Uh, there is a high chance that you'll get it. So yeah, now this live stream should be renamed Happy Psych Shart. Or just the Shart. The color too, it fits. Guys, it's just a blue and white shirt. Blue shirt with white. Just stop it! What are we doing here? We are literally talking about the shirt right now. I'll need to go and change it. The color complements your tan, but I literally don't have it. And actually, you have a bit of a tan here, guys. You see, it's a bit red. You might be like, oh my god, sorry. did you touch grass yesterday? Yes, guys, I've touched some grass. And as you can see, it's a bit red here. I kind of burnt my forehead. So this time, I'm not stupid. I have used uh, probably sun cream maybe five times. I've reapplied the sun cream on my body five times. You might be like, oh my god, sake, really? Yes, it was really hot outside yesterday, just as every day. But, um... Yeah, this time I'm not stupid. I did not burn my back. I've reapplied sun cream five times. So I did burn my forehead here a bit as I didn't apply here. But I mean, it doesn't really hurt. It's just kind of reddish. It's fine. Doesn't matter. There is that. There are some more random facts about Happy Cyrix. So let's go to the top. Sadly, oh no, I do have a Glock. I, th I want to say that I don't have any other weapons besides a shotgun, but we do. Oh wow, oh wow, let's get a spread shot then. Let's get these guys. Another wave of zombies has spawned. Check this out. Two waves at the same time. I didn't mean to use that spread shot here right now. Well, let's deal with one survivor. My armor is about to break, so I'm gonna try to keep it at full health. Uh, canister of gasoline from a survivor. Never happened before. This guy had nothing. Okay, let's start looting the chest. Psych, yesterday was Friday. Did you eat pizza? No, yesterday was not a pizza day. Oh no, oh no, my armor is gone. Let's do another spread shot on these schmucks. We've gotten some points towards our season pass, which is maybe a decent amount of points. And let's get this. So, hey guys, now guess what we're gonna get inside of this box. I already see some of you guessing. But it's not gonna count. The, the the votes are only gonna start counting now. So guess, guys, what we're gonna get inside of that box. For those who do not know, what's the game? The game is pretty simple. You guess what is inside of that box, and the winner gets absolutely nothing. No more cringy intro. What do you mean, no more cringy intro? We've never done any cringy intros in the past. In the past, yeah. So what are you talking about, boy? Now, let's go to the settlement. Let's drop those iron wires. And I think we're going to open up the box. Myself, personally, I'm going to say that it's a Glock. And we have gotten a Skull Crusher. Skull... Skull Crusher. There's only one person that I've guessed it, that it's a Skull Crusher. Tristan Kerr. Very epic. Congratulations, Tristan. And the rest of you... That's sad. The rest of you that did not guess it, that is sad. Hopefully, you'll guess something next time. But I, the package is at your doorstep. Make sure to collect it before the neighbor steals it. And we are going to drop those iron wires in the wall. Let's go, baby. So we got a few of them. Let's fill this stuff up. We have 16 out of 30 of those iron wires. Yeah, we'll get 14 extra and then we'll be able to finish the wall and then probably more tasks are going to start. Okay, that's awesome. All right, let's leave this place. And let's probably get ready for the first raid of the day. Oh, we also have the wrecked ship event that I haven't done yet. I mean, we don't really have a lot of armor, but we can just probably go to that wrecked ship event right now. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do the wrecked ship event. All right, let's gather these schmucks. Another spread shot in the face. 
Well, we were we almost killed all of them. I'd give like a 7 out of 10 spread shot. But still pretty decent spread shot. Alright, let's talk to the survivor. I'd like to get my reanimator, but whatever I get, it's uh, almost a free reward. Anyways, we've gotten 5 aluminum wires. It's almost like a daily gift here. We still maybe even have that daily bonus event. There we go. Let's collect these things. I've absolutely forgotten about it. Before, daily event was way better. Like, daily bonus was probably 10 times better. We were getting way better loot. Right now, we get garbage. So there's that. All right, let's get back home. Rav video was amazing, says Raja. Thanks for watching the Rav video. Glad that you enjoyed it. Six days for six gifts, including reanimator. I mean, can we even do that wrecked ship event six times? How often does that wrecked ship event respawn? Every 24 hours? And that wrecked ship event probably doesn't last for six days. The wrecked ship event actually does last for six days. So that's not that bad. We can get six rewards there, including the reanimator. So wrecked ship event actually has better rewards than the daily rewards, probably. So not that bad. Ain't terrible at all. We cannot open up the doggo as we already have filled the entire crate. So check this out, guys. Whenever I click on the doggo, it just doesn't allow me to do it. So what we're going to do is we will store the doggo in this old pickup truck. Hopefully no one's gonna steal him, as I don't want raiders to steal that dog from us. Totally. I don't want that doggo to be stolen. But let's take a shower. And let's prepare for the raid number one of the day, and then I think we might go to the laboratory to check out that event. Yeet the doggo, says DA. I mean, we're just gonna keep it in that box, it's fine. for now. Alright, let's take another armor. There's this water. Um, carrots and uh, glue. Wait, we don't have glue. We have copper. Let's delete these empty bottles. So yeah, what I want to do is just to quickly sort out the inventory. All the unnecessary loot that we have here will be put back in its place. And then we can come back and talk to the raiders. We can go back and talk to the raiders and see what other tasks we have to do. The grenade. The caps. Thick cloth and gasoline. Alright, so we gotta deal with the witch. Probably it's reset, so we are gonna deal with the witch. I'm almost certain. Or maybe it's not certain. Wait, let's go outside. Let's see if she's reset or not. Then we'll get enough weapons and we'll deal with the witch. No, she's not reset. Two more hours and 30 minutes, so we just apparently have to skip and we can go for the right that way. Imagine having a dog kennel full of dogs IRL and only one is skilled enough to leave the kennel, says DA. Well, welcome to last day on Earth survival. I mean, they all kind of leave their place, they all leave their doghouse, but only some of them can follow you, the rest just stay outside. Alright, let's finish this. Can I open up at least one blue card? We probably should do it because I've opened up two purple last time and I've opened up zero blue, so we can open up one blue card right now. Let's take it and let's go to the police department. Recycle three guns and then we're gonna recycle three weapons. 
we will recycle three broken weapons and then we can go for the raid number one. Take a gooper with you for the raid to take a gooper? I don't know, we'll see. I doubt it though, but we'll see. Maybe. There we go, let's run to the police department. Hey, Sack, does Bloodhound do anything? Is it useless, says Vendetta. I don't know, Bloodhound probably increases your chance of getting rare items. But it's kind of hard to confirm if it does anything or it doesn't do anything. Because you, it's not like it gives you anything guaranteed. But why not use it? That's what I say about the Bloodhound. You have nothing to lose by using the Bloodhound. All right, welcome Raider. I'm back with more crates to open. Say, so let's open up this blue crate now. And let's get the loot. We've gotten big ammo, which we don't need. But what we needed though is like this armor, these weapons. I mean, free caps, not gonna say no to that. And that's it. But mainly we've opened up that blue box because Raiders wanted us to open it up just so that we can do raid number one of the day. It's like, is it worth it to clear the laboratory? I mean, maybe during this event it's kind of worth it because you'll be able to get some of those carbon composites and some of those factory parts, even though before you were getting one stack of each. Now you're only getting half a stack of each, which is still probably maybe worth it. I don't know, depends on how many guns you got. So there is that. What's the name of the background music? Everything's in the description. There's the official Last Day on Earth soundtrack on the SoundCloud. The link is in the description. All right, let's drop the armor over here. Let's drop the two weapons. And the caps. Oh yeah, three weapons now. Let's go, let's recycle three of those weapons. One, two, three. It's like, is it worth it to fix the seaweed farm? Probably not. I wouldn't say it's very worth it. All right, one weapon recycled. Let's recycle now the second weapon and the th third weapon. There we go, we recycled all of them. Let's delete this garbage. Maybe we have more titanium. There we go, we absolutely have more of it. Let's drop it here. I mean, I don't really know why we need that titanium, but why not get it? All right, let's go now for the first rate of the day. And after that, maybe we're going to try to check out that laboratory. And then maybe we'll do one more raid. It depends. We'll see. So like, can you show the keyboard layout? I think I've shown that keyboard layout already multiple times, but I'll show it once again. Uh, for those that are interested. Uh, well, I'm just gonna share the screen, guys. So if you want that keyboard layout, it is here. Boom. Uh, behind the face cam, I'm gonna hide the face cam. Boom. So this is the keyboard layout. This is of what I use. This is how it is. And that is it. There's nothing else to talk about it. Oh my god, thank you for showing us the keyboard layout. You're welcome. As I said, I've already shared it multiple times. WASD to walk, shift to pick up, space to attack, Q to heal, uh, T extra pocket, and that's pretty much it. B backpack, the console key to close, and that's it. An E button to use. 
Wait, did I talk to the raiders? I just kept going up and down. Yeah, I've spoken to raiders. Let's grab the hatchets. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get five level one hatchets. Show us your gaming set in your room. I've done setup videos like probably two or three times already. Just type Psyche Setup Tour. And there will be those videos. How to increase Eva's reputation at the laboratory. Just clear hard mode bunker. Uh, hard mode laboratory. And by killing zombies, you'll get points. And don't forget Glocks. Yes, indeed. We are going to get two Glocks for this raid. I'm not expecting anything too much because the past couple of raids were okay. Maybe even too okay. So I doubt that we'll get anything decent this time. You haven't done setup tour from your new flat though, says DA. I mean, it's literally the same setup tour as last time. Like absolutely nothing has changed. Still same computer. Still same thing. I just ha I just got a third monitor so that it's easier to live stream here because with both monitors I I don't really use three monitors all the time, but while editing videos and uh, live streaming, the third monitor is kind of useful. So that's the only thing that's changed. That's it. But other than that, same old setup. Like nothing changed. Not the keyboard. Not mouse. Nothing. So yeah. Bam bam. Medkits. We took a stack of medkits already. There is nothing else to take with us. Let's go, ladies and gents. Let's go raid number uno of the day. Maybe there will be a second raid. As I said, after that, we're probably gonna go and clear the laboratory. And then we'll probably do the second raid. Player, my favorite raid, ladies and gentlemen. My favorite raid. You know that if the base starts with player, you know that it's gonna be a good raid. Last day on earth raid, player 5378. Let's see. Oof! Lovely event. Lovely raid. Beautiful raid. Mind blowing raid. I think we can. We've done enough research. Let's go. Bamboozle raid? It's not a bamboozle raid. It's actually a good raid, ladies and gentlemen. It might look like and sound like it's a bad raid. And it might look like it's a bad raid. And it might be a bad raid, but it's not a bad raid. Because this raid will get Sykes approval. And Sykes approval is all what matters. Mm, do I just drop a C4? Do we need a. Maybe we can enter this base. I don't think we can enter it without C4s. So let's get a C4. Let's go here. Weapons. Mm, there we go. We got one C4. Let's drop it on this wall. And you know what? I'm kind of excited to clear now the laboratory as it's been maybe two weeks, maybe more. Half a month, maybe even a month. I don't know. It's been a long time since we've cleared the farm location. So not the farm location, but sorry, but the laboratory location. So I'm kind of excited to go and clear it. Got him. We've gotten some food. Actually, you know what? It's not that bad. I was joking about Sykes approval. But apparently this base will get Sykes approval. We already got in enough food for the Sykes approval. This base already isn't that bad. Uh, gasoline. 
electronic circuits. Two Glocks. Good, 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 good. Let's drop some stuff in the chopper. Seriously, not a terrible raid. Looked like bad raid. It was a player, like whatever, player in four numbers, right? But hey, just look at it. Not that terrible after all. A minigun. I'll get probably some more hatchets. Another armor that'll bring back to the base. We could bring maybe this tactical armor as well, but I don't know if I want it. Some more planks. Can we open up this chest? Yes. I'll probably do three hits to this chest. I'll do three hits to this chest. Whatever, let's open it up. Thick cloth. Yeah, I'd rather take that thick cloth instead of that armor, as we can craft more armor with that thick cloth, and I don't really have a lot of thick cloth left at the base. Um, let's get this. Right. And let's open up the last chest. And here we got nothing, so that's it. Let's try to leave this base, and this base gets IX approval. Not terrible right at all. If I had to give it a rating, I don't even know. To say 5 out of 10 raid. Well, definitely it wasn't a 5 out of 10 raid. 3... 4 out of 10 raid. That's what I give it. 3... 4 out of 10. So you guys check this out. You can go to the settlement and you'll pay only 5 energy. And to go to the base, you pay 9 energy. So hey, we're gonna pay 5 energy to go to the settlement. And then from the settlement, we can run back to our base. Oops, I accidentally used the fuel. But you got the point. Back to the base, you can run for free. And we've, we're gonna use only 5 energy instead of 9. Five, six out of ten, three and a half out of ten. I would probably agree with three and a half, three, four out of ten, three and a half, four out of ten, something like that. It's not a bad raid, but definitely not the best. But totally not bad. Like a nice resource, resource raid. Maybe above average. Above average raid. Let's drop some armor. Happy Saturday to you. Happy Psych. Welcome, Ladybug, to the stream. Hello, hello. Happy Saturday to you as well. And welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Happy Saturday to all of you. Energy saving specialist. Happy Cyric. Yes, indeed. Thank you, guys. From now on, I'm the energy specialist. Yes. Oh, you want to save energy? Just travel to your settlement. I mean, just for that reason, you can actually save a decent amount of energy. I mean, it depends to where you run, but you can save your energy sometimes. So I guess it's cool. It's not bad. All right, let's pay those raiders with that electronic circuit. Let's give it, let's give it, let's give it. Bam. And let's call them on the radio again, and I want to see what other tasks we have to do. And then I think we will hop to the laboratory. And actually, I want to see what kind of weapons we have to use in the laboratory. What weapons do bonus damage to those zombies? The laboratory port. AKs! Mm, maybe we have some AKs at the base and in the inbox. Telepathic hello, Saki. Yo, Gaga Kremak, welcome to the stream. Telepathic hello to all of you. Welcome, welcome. The first eight kits, easy. Third floor of Bunker Alpha. Easy, 20 plates, easy, and the witch, which we can't kill now anyway. So we're going to do the second raid very soon. But before we do this, let's try to clear that farm location. The laboratory location. Sorry, I keep confusing it. Probably it's not the first time that I said farm instead of laboratory today. But it do be like that. It does happen. All right, let's drop this minigun and five gasoline. 
running to the gas station doesn't cost anything as well, so it makes traveling cheaper, says Vendetta. Well, it's if you have VAP. If you don't have VAP, it's paid. Unless they've changed something the last update, which I don't think so. Mm, this. And let's see if we have a lot of AKs. Let's see how many AKs we got here, and the rest are going to come from the inbox. And we're going to blast through that event. And maybe we'll even use some of the M16s. Because it doesn't really look like we have a lot of AKs now, do we? Well, we have one AK and that's it. We got only one AK. Understandable. Have a nice day. Let's go to the inbox. Let's see how many AKs we got here. Um. Okay, we got a few of the AKs. Let's take a couple of them. Again, we don't really even have to use those AKs. We can easily use Glocks, but AKs do bonus damage, so why not do it? Why not use the AK? Something stuck in the eye. <laughs> Must have been nothing. Must have been a like button, guys. Nothing special, just a like button stuck in the eye. It's fine. All right, let's speed run. Uh, speed run, modify these weapons. VA just said camera frozen. I had to check it if it's actually frozen. Now the camera is not frozen, so you did kind of bamboozle me. But I try to say, I tried to act like, hey, you did not bamboozle me. But you know what? I'm gonna admit it. I just got bamboozled. Say so props to you for bamboozling me. I'll get a few stacks of first aid kits. Maybe three stacks is gonna be enough. Let's get two stacks of food. Um, I don't have any good food though. Nothing is cooked and I want to take cooked food. There we go. We got cooked carrots and let's get maybe another armor. And then we are ready to roll. Five plus five equals 55 says Abhi. Okay. That's some nice math. Um, do I have any seaweed here? Probably I don't. Well, well, well. Hopefully I won't have to go and search for... that seaweed manually. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh lord, look at this. Inventory. Look at the garbage here. Do we need to sort out that chopper? Oops, it doesn't fit. Can I... Cannot eat that either. I think we have too many items. The inventory is filled fully, and I don't know why. Another stack of first aid kits, but do we need that many? We don't need the bandages. There we go. I needed some space for the seaweed and other garbage. It's like, is extraction event worth it? Probably. If you want to get like those purple blueprints, and if you get purple blueprints at the end of the extraction event, then maybe it's worth it. For a second, I forgot where we're going. I was like, wait, where was I even... What was I getting ready for? But hey, we were getting ready for the farm location. Laboratory location. Sorry, once again, I confused it. Farm with the laboratory. 
Let's go, yes indeed, let's go. What's kinda... Sad is that we don't get a lot of those whatever points they're called, the Marks of Excellence points. We don't get a lot of them in that event. In this event. Because check this out, for completing a few of those tasks... Where are they? We got only 5, 10, 15, like... That's nothing. 30 points. That's sad. 30 measles points. We got 10... Seaweed. I might have a little bit of seaweed in the... In the boat. So let's check the boat. Happy Sire, can you get asbestos? No, asbestos are not in the game yet. I mean... If you maybe assemble the wall, maybe then you get to get your asbestos, but I can't get them yet. But probably you need to assemble the wall in order to get the asbestos to unlock them from the sewer location, I guess. And in order to unlock that, you need to finish the headquarters first. Because after the headquarters, after you get enough antennas, you need to start getting iron wires from the farm to finish building the wall. So, janitor, welcome. We can get a free weapon. Very awesome. We're gonna check it out very soon. Please tell me we got some seaweed here. Yes, indeed, we got an entire stack of seaweed. Nice. Maybe we won't have to go inside and farm that seaweed on our own. There we go. Everything should be great. So, ladies and gents, last time at the farm, at the at the laboratory, this was the last time when we were here. We have gotten the medicine cabinet. And now the only other reward left for us is this outfill, outfit style Sigma. But I don't know if we're ever getting it. All right, let's go to the second floor. And let's start it. Asbesto sounds like some uh, drug names. It's not, it's the... I do know that they used to make roof with that, and I do know that it's unhealthy because it's bad. But hey, we can get asbestos. And we will get them. One day after we finish building the wall. Alright, let's start this. Uh, I'll probably skip it a few times. Until we get... The... The, the, the... Nice perk. We have Action Hero perk or Agility perk. Both of them are all right. AK already doesn't really miss that much. So getting Action Hero perk will be kind of pointless. But at the same time, it's kind of all right. Let's get the Action Hero perk. That's it, guys. I'm getting Action Hero perk. Even though AKs don't miss that much. But now they're going to miss even less. So we're going to do now insane amount of damage. And we will deal with these guys. We will absolutely destroy them. I just need to get some more space in my inventory to fit that carbon composite. Yes. Asbestos is banned in some countries, I assume. got spit it on. I did lose some armor durability, but that's alright. In the beginning, those toxic melters or whatever, they were... They were doing more damage to your armor. I think they kind of nerfed them a bit, like, a while ago. Like, that probably happened, like, a really long time ago. Maybe half a year ago. I don't know when they nerfed them, maybe. Or maybe they didn't nerf anything. Maybe I'm just imagining. I have no idea. Alright, so maybe I can go back. How do I have more space now? Oh no, I still don't have space for the factory part. Sadly, acid melter. Yes, indeed, the acid melter. Before, I think it used to damage the armor way more. I used to lose like 50% durability of the armor with one spit. Alright, let's open this up. No, I got stuck in that corner! If it wasn't that corner, everything would have been way better. I mean, we still lost lots of armor. Check this out. We already had 50% durability, so... Where is the next missed survival video? Uh, in my pocket. I mean, the next video is coming out tomorrow. 
Asbestos used to be put in cigarette filters. Turned out the asbestos were more deadly than the cigarette. Wow. It's the first time I hear that. That is epic. Let's get another one of those. Now we have more space in the inventory, so I can go back. And we can take the rest of the items that I haven't picked up yet. What is this place called? It's called Laboratory. Before one spit, 50% of the armor was gone. Now it's like 20%, I guess. Maybe. Maybe. Cyric can't dodge. What do you mean, Cyric can't dodge? We can't dodge. It just happens. Like, usually the best way to dodge them is just run in front of them. Because you're not gonna dodge them if you're far away from them. You have to run in front of them and then dodge behind them. That's how it works, but I just get stuck sometimes. Sometimes I forget that they're gonna run out. And I'm pretty certain when Laboratory came out, these spitters were not spitting at you right away. They would wait, they would attack you first, but now as soon as they see you, they spit on you. Use sprinting skill or rolling skill. I'd rather... I don't know what I'd rather do. Look at this. That's how you kind of avoid the acid melter. But yeah. We could get the sprinting skill. Actually, I will get the sprinting skill. But the... Rolling skill is... Rolling skill should be illegal. The first thing that I'd do as a CEO of Last and Earth Survival is I would remove that rolling skill. That's it. That's what I would do. And there we go, guys. Floor number one is almost cleared. Got him. Let's open up another door. There we go, we avoided this guy. As I said, I knew that the acid melter was gonna be there, so I just ran towards that acid melter, and that's how we avoided the spit. Rolling skill, Paul. I mean, we could ask the the viewers if they like rolling skill or the sprinting skill. Uh, rolling skill or the sprinting skill. Rolling skill. Printing the rolling skill or the sprinting. Rolling skill, sprinting skill. I uh, know I don't play. There we go, guys. We have the poll here. You can vote it. But it doesn't matter. Even if you guys choose the rolling skill. You're playing wrong. As I said the first time, I if I ever become CEO... Actually, not if, but when I become the CEO. No, I'm kidding, but... I will remove the rolling skill from the game. That's it. Rolling skill is the worst skill in the game. Changed my mind. Seriously. I'd rather have look around skill instead of the rolling skill. Oh my goodness. Let's hide here. Let's get another AK. Got all of them. We still have a little bit of armor, so I'll try to stay with this armor. Can't change your mind because rolling skill is the worst skill, says Demetrius. Very nice, glad to hear that. It's like saying sky is blue, change my mind. Like, yeah, sky is blue, you're not gonna change my mind on that. Same thing with the rolling skill is bad, change my mind. Like, it is bad, it's a fact that it's a horrible skill. 
All right, I've done the poll. So we'll wait until more people participate. But currently, 32% of you are saying that roll you prefer the rolling skill. 60% of you prefer the sprinting skill. And 80% of you either don't know or you don't play the game. Okay, cool. Understandable. So far, sprinting skill is winning. But I'm kind of disappointed that still a lot of people are choosing the rolling skill. We'll be sad to see when I'll remove it from the game. Every time you want to use rolling skill, you'll have to pay five bucks for it. Hmm. There we go. That's just genius. And it's not like you'll have to click on it and then pop up up here. It's like, hey, you have to pay five bucks. You'll just use it and that's it. When you sign up in the game, when you will download Last Earth Survival, you'll have to provide your, like, credentials and whatnot. And every time you do that rolling skill... It will automatically take five bucks off of your account. Smart. Literally five ahead. That's all I have to say. Let's deal with this. Things like when you become CEO, make burglar skill uh, easier to get. Yes, it'll be 15 bucks in the shop. Level one. Level 2, 30 bucks. And level 3, 60 bucks. And you can't just buy level 3 skill. It will be unavailable to get for free to play, though. I'm sorry about that. But it is what it is. At least we'll have a guaranteed chance to get it. In total, that'll be like, what, 90, 105 bucks? To get burglar skill level 3? I think kind of... No! Stop it. Let's pick this up. Let's go all the way to the top. Oh no, I got stunned in the water. It is all right. Sounds fair. I don't even remember what I just said there, but hey, I agree with you. Will we ever play in Sector 7 again? Probably not. That's what I have to say about Sector 7. It'll probably... Won't play there. What do you mean rolling skill is the worst? Explain. Well, it's just terrible. That's it. I just don't like the rolling skill. There's not much to, there's not much to explain. You can roll through Frenzy Giant attacks, it's not completely useless. I'd rather get hit in the face from that Frenzy Giant than use that rolling skill. Alright, the explorer is gonna explode. Wait, have I looted the box? I probably... I haven't looted it fully yet. There we go. Let's take that. Now, let's deal with the boss. We will get another armor. We have enough AK, so it's gonna be easy to deal with this guy. Easy. It will be easy clap, ladies and gents. Let's get the epic soundtrack and let's deal with him. It's plus normal boss. Like easy boss, not even hard mode laboratory boss. I'll try to avoid those stomps. Damn it! Look at this. Look at this. The guy couldn't even attack us. He just kept running in circles. Got him. Got him. That was a very fast skill. Less than 30 seconds. Or maybe like around 30 seconds. That was... GG, ladies and gentlemen. Easy clap. Let's get this. 
the fragments of the titanium armor and whatever that is. Let's take that garbage. All of it. I deleted this game because I died while fighting Revenger at the farm. Valid reason. Smart. Wait, I want to go to the third floor real quick. Maybe like, say why there's something. I don't really have a lot of space now in the inventory, do I? What I could do is come to this useless place that... That's probably never going to come to life. Hopefully I'm wrong. And we can add these things. There we go. We've added three hydraulic parts. And we still don't have those uh, processors. As soon as we get those processors, we should be able to assemble this trolley. Maybe our settlement will have something to do with this trolley, but I kind of doubt it. I think developers just abandoned it. So there's that. All right, let's get back to the second fl first floor because we need to get the seaweed. Can you make from zero gameplays to help the new players and make it a playlist in your channel, says Fly S. I've already done this like probably two or three times, just there's a link in the description, uh, the free-to-play playlist. That's the newest one, and I have probably two other ones when I started playing the game from zero, so hey, make sure to check it out. Oh my god, Sarek, I had no idea, thank you, you're welcome. You're welcome. Let's go back to the second floor. Except before we do it, let's drop some of that stuff there. And let's go, ladies and gents. Hello, hello, happy Saturday. How's your day going? The day's going great. Hopefully your day's going great as well. Welcome, welcome. Oh, wait, I'm stuck. Oh, yeah, we are going to the sector B1. Let's go to the sector B1. Let's start it. So I want to get the uh, the buff that will disable the traps. I don't remember how it's called. Not the killer instinct. The new rule spark. It was there. I missed it. I missed the new rule spark, ladies and gents. My bad. Well, now we have to scroll to that new rule spark again. Killer Instinct, Predator. Uh, there we go. There's the new rules spark. Let's select it. Yikes. Yikes. All right, Exploder is going to go poof. Probably I'm also going to wear this armor until it breaks. This way I'll have more space in the inventory. I'll loot this room with a chest. There are some other rooms that we could clear, but they don't have any special chests. So I'm just gonna leave those zombies there. There's no point to fight them. Let's pick this stuff up. Wait, I've been picking up everything from those zombies, and so far I've gotten only four carbon composites and four factory parts. Kinda lame. Let's open this thing up. I got a B card. Another B card. How many A cards have we got? 41. Okay, so maybe now, like, during this event, it's maybe worth it to go and kill some zombies inside of those rooms, as they will maybe have a chance of giving you that carbon composite or those factory parts, but hey. I'm just 
still not clearing those other rooms. Easy mode laboratory with these boosted AKs is super easy. Insanely easy. Nothing useful here. So yeah, this new rules park disables the snowy weather here. Otherwise, it would be pretty cold in this place. Wait, let's loot this guy. Apparently, I haven't looted it yet. There we go. Another carbon composite. So, four carbon composites and only four factory parts. We're going to get the past park on the fourth floor. Can't see your level. Every time I open up the backpack, you see the level there. Oh my god, it's like, really? I didn't even know that. Thank you. You're welcome. Here, guys. The level is here. Close to the name. Get it. The extra B cards. All right, now we've gotten another one of those factory parts. Say, so for those who didn't know before, we could get 20 factory parts and 20 carbon composites. Well, around that number, like 17, maybe 18. It depends if you kill all the zombies in every room or not. But hey, that no longer happens. Yeah, you missed the body. Well, I don't believe that. I think you're just trying to lie to me. So I'm going to assume that I didn't miss anything. Let's go further. Now there's no way I'll do enough damage with fists to kill fast enough. We could probably kill it, but let's just use the AKs. Let's just be normal. Um, this. Alright, so here I'm gonna get the pass perk. Because that's what we usually take as the as the fourth perk. Um, where is it? The iron head. That's not what we need. The restoration. The friend and foe. There we go. There's the pass perk. Bam. Bam. Yes, you did miss a body. Nah, you're lying, guys. There's no way I missed a body. How to get a base with a lot of guns. It's random. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Most of the time you don't. But sometimes you get really lucky and you do get a base with a lot of guns or healing items or something else. So there is that. We still have this broken armor. Imagine for how long it lasted. I want it to break so that I get four more slots in the inventory. And I kind of don't want to delete it. Because I want it to break. This way I don't have to delete it. All right, let's avoid the spits. Let's heal up. There we go. Now let's load this chest. We missed one body. I don't believe it, guys. That's it. I'm like, la 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 la. I don't hear you guys. I'm sure you're lying. Oh my goodness, I'll die soon. Take this. Well, I'll wait until those pits disappear, then I'll pick up my loot. It'll be better. Oh wow, we kill just exploder just like that. Okay. 
Let's use loot this room. I thought there was something on the screen, but I don't think there's... It's it's just the probably laboratory... F the front of the laboratory on the screen. Whatever, and also explain to me why does this screen have a notch here? Why? Like, why? That's stupid. That's it. That's all I had to say. Welcome to Happy Sax Rant. Rant number... I don't know, 3003. Why do we have a notch on that monitor? Design choice. What kind of a design choice to have a notch on your monitor? Why would you have a notch on your monitor? That's just stupid and illegal. Whoever designed that should should go to jail. I'm just saying. Because it's a cool gaming monitor. Alright, so a cool gaming monitor means it has to have a notch. Alright. Why did you want the pass perk so badly? Because it opens up special pass perk rooms and you get a few cards. It's not like I wanted it so badly, it's just that it's a nice perk to have. Alright, let's wait for the gas to disappear. Those spitters and darters are the worst. Darters are really annoying. I agree. And spitters are annoying. All of them are annoying. <laughs> but yeah, those acid melters are garbage. The spitters are garbage. Sometimes there are two darters in one spot and they do insane amount of damage. If you don't pay attention uh, to your health, you can just die instantly from both of those darters. Maybe some of you even encountered three darters in one spot. The notch is requested by CEO. Well, I don't remember requesting that notch! This, this, and let's use this cannon. We don't have enough time to stay in front of that laser. It would be cool if I could check that laser. So how many guns do you need on average for the extraction? I don't have a slightest clue. Less than 1,000 and more than one gun. The number is somewhere in between. I don't know what's that number. Maybe some of you in the chat can can give the answer, but I have no idea. Like, honestly, never counted them. Alright, let's open up the door. And let's go. Let's deal with the boss. Once again, we gotta get that epic soundtrack. Got it. Lots of gun for the extraction. Okay, that's a nice answer. I accept it. There we go, guys. This guy is going to melt. If I die, I am a stinky loser. But we should be able to pop it easy. We do bonus damage, and it's an easy blight.
All right, let's heal up. Sometimes I forget that you can just hold the attack button. You can move and your guy will shoot automatically. Because for me, I usually would uh, release the attack button. But I keep forgetting that you don't have to release it. You can just hold it. Oh my goodness, I'm dead! Oh my god, 16 kill loser! I didn't die yet. Hold on. Hold on there, cowboy. I ain't a stinky loser yet. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have dealt with the blight. We dealt with blight. Blight is dead. Blight is no more. There we go. And the pulse Cyric. We can still keep it for a while, it's fine. To tell me what to do. Oh my god, Cyric, please end the poll. We're still gathering information. There are more people liking rolling skill. It was only like 32% of people liking rolling skill. Now it's 35% of you liking rolling skill. Excuse me? Are you doing it on purpose? All right, we got one of the best predictions in the chat. Wait, <clears throat> I think Tungsten will come after this game unlocks new lab at laboratory floor four because three dots. What is that supposed to mean? I have no idea. I think Tungsten will come after this game unlock new lab at laboratory floor four because and three dots. Okay, whatever. Maybe we will get Tungsten. We'll definitely guys get Tungsten. Totally. We will also get the helicopter. Totally. All right, let's wait for this blob to release the spores. Let's get those A cards. We've opened up a reagent box. And we have a two floor now, and maybe in that a two floor we'll get some more crates, more a cards. I have probably missed some chests here and there, but that's fine. I just want to get the passport chests. There we go, another pass park room. Go on, we need a few more cards. We've gotten seven of those cards. You gotta be kidding me. That's a lot of cards. We have 53 cards. Plus we've gotten an inhaler. Now we need to loot only B1 sector. B1, yeah, that's B1 sector. Yeah, let's loot the B1 sector. The, then we can open up the crates and I think we can start getting ready for the raid number two of the day then Yes, indeed All right, let's run all the way There ish. Oh, there's also a body that I haven't looted How have I missed it? I don't know And there we go, there's the the, the special chest. The pass park chest. Pass park rooms have a good amount of cards. Yes, indeed. They do have a decent amount of cards. And that is it. We are done with the full laboratory. Now let's load the... Great, I'll probably delete this armor. Let's open up B, B crate and A crate. I don't know if I'll have enough space to bring all the loot back to the base, but hey, we have some space on the chopper. So we'll do that. Let's 
All right, let's drop that there. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's open up the A and B crates. He didn't miss the body. He was saving it for later, says Steve M. Watson. That is the best comment of right of the day. Stephen M. Watson, you're the best. I did not miss that body. I have, was saving it for later. Smart. Genius. And you get my approval. Genius. Let's get the weapon. And hey, let's open up the B card. Let's open up the A card and let's see, baby. We're gonna get three Genesis weapons in the A card and we're gonna get three more Genesis weapons in the B card. Epic. So we can use those Genesis weapons to clear the hard mode laboratory. All right, we don't have enough space. Let's bring some stuff to the chopper and then let's come back here. Let's take the rest of the stuff. How long is the delay in the chat? It seems like five minutes. Try to refresh the live stream. The delay is not five minutes. Delay is usually about 30 seconds or something. I don't know. It depends probably live stream to live stream, but I think it's around 30 seconds delay. But it's definitely not five minutes. Let's drop these weapons here, here, and there. There we go. Now let's finish looting those crates. What happens after you finish the barracks? Nothing happened. I finished the barracks and nothing happened. Absolutely nothing. For me, the delay is about seven seconds. How would you know that it's seven seconds delay? Will you ever go for level 50? Oh, here? I mean, I don't know. Doubt it. Getting that skin sims po seems pointless. So I doubt that we will ever go for level 50 there. Do some deliveries and open a sunken crate. I doubt it as well. Let's drop those here just so that we can get some more seaweed. And hey, let's bring the rest of the loot back to the base. Just refresh the stream. Hopefully that'll work, says Ladybug. Well, I just read the comment as soon as I saw it, so it shouldn't be... Uh... Yeah, so there shouldn't be delay. Sometimes I just read comments. Sometimes I just le read all their comments. So it might seem like there is a longer delay than it should be. But we can test the delay in the stream and we'll be like, Psych! Can we? Yes, we can. Wanna participate in this epic test? Let's participate. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, prepare to type the number. Right, let's get ready. I'm gonna whip out the timer. I'm gonna have a stopwatch here, right? So now we're gonna check the time. Uh, how long it takes for us to... What's the delay on the stream? So I'm gonna tell you a number and you'll have to type in the chat as soon as I'll tell you to type that number. So for example, that's just an example. I'll tell you to type number, let's say one, you'll type number one in the chat. Alright? But I'll tell you to type a different number. So, just get ready. Open your chat. Prepare that thing. And I'm gonna tell you, type number five. There we go, the time's going. Let's say this, there we go, three seconds went for you to, you started typing number one. There we go, five, five, that's it. You already started doing it. It's, it's less than, it's seven seconds, wow. Chat is like exploding, ten seconds, ten to, ten to five seconds, wow. That is insane. I didn't expect that fives rolling in so quickly. I saw some people typing in number one, but then it just exploded with fives. I didn't really expect that it's so quick. Wow, that's epic. That is epic. So yeah, we, we have like, what, less than ten seconds delay. Like seven to ten seconds delay on the stream, which is 
really low. Like, that is... That is actually crazy. And we're not even streaming with the low latency. There is, like, a special mode that you can stream with low latency. But then it disables some of the features, if I'm not mistaken. I have no idea. We've probably done that test already a while ago. But yeah, we can stream like with really low latency. That'll be like one second delay or something. But then there might be more problems with the live stream. I think some people might have more buffering and... Uh, uh, then maybe the subtitles on the live stream don't work. But I don't even know if subtitles work right now. So there's that. So there is that. Sark has delay on his brain. Sark sees the comment then sent to his brain, then process. Yes, indeed. And sometimes I'll just read an older comment. Sometimes I'll see that comment. I'll think how to respond to it. And then I'm like, you know what? There's no way I can respond to it. And that's it. Then I'll just roll with it. But sometimes I'm like, okay, I can still answer it. And then I'll answer it again after like 30 seconds. So maybe sometimes it, it'll look like there's like a minute delay. But there's just a minute delay in my head, not on the live stream, guys. So it's good to know that it's less than 10 seconds. I I, th I thought that it's like half a minute or something. I really thought that it's about 30 seconds delay. But it's not. All right, so in total, we have gotten nine carbon composites plus 10 factory parts. I think we could have gotten maybe one extra carbon composite from, 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 from whatever that place is called. Um, like for killing some more of those zombies because some of those zombies were locked in the other rooms so we could have killed them and we could have gotten one extra carbon composite. But you know what? Nine is fine. Nine is decent. Let's do this. Okay, can I drop things inside? Yes, I can, but they don't fit. Sag, delete purple blueprints. Stop it. Don't touch the purple blueprints. No. Bad person. Don't touch my purple blueprints. Ten out of ten stream delay. Yes, indeed. Actually, I'm happy that it's less than ten seconds. I really didn't remember how long is the delay. But that's a pretty short delay. Good to know. And yeah, some of you said that subtitles don't work, but yeah, like, usually subtitles should work on the live stream, even when we are live. It should still process the subtitles, but they're not working for some reason, even though they're enabled, so... There's that. Let's drop the caps. Let's drop the, 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 the grenades. Bam. Mine goes over here, the gasolinium, and ladies and gentlemen, we have sorted out our inventory. That's it. After that messy, well, almost sorted it out. After that messy laboratory, we have sorted it out. There are a few weapons, just one click, and we'll be done with it. And let's see what tasks we have to do to do raid number two of the day. Why don't you make any more last day on earth videos. It's always a stream, says the CG. The CG. <sighs> you donut. Oh my god, Zach, don't call me a donut. I'm very sensitive. Look at this. Look at this. Check this out. Display. Look at this. Let's zoom in. So, the most recent video, we've done a video somewhere here quite recently on Last Earth. Boom, this one, seven days ago. There was a Last Day on Earth video. We had some other Last Day on Earth videos as well. So sometimes we make Last Day on Earth videos. There we go. Two weeks ago, there was a Last Day on Earth video. So we have a Last Day on Earth video. And we have daily live streams. How many more Last Day on Earth do you want? How much Last Day on Earth do you want, that person? Yes. There we go. Psych, like, why do you breathe air? Sorry, guys. I'm not gonna breathe it anymore. I'm gonna stop breathing air.
there's nothing to post, to be honest. If there's something new that, that'll be worth posting, then I'd post it. Like, the point is, if it wasn't for the live streams, I would uh, quit last day on Earth probably three years ago. I don't know when I started daily live streaming last day on Earth, maybe two years ago, three years ago. Not daily live streaming, but every other day live streaming. There's just no content. Whenever I make a video, it's all about the thumbnail and the title. If there's no thumbnail or title, there's no video about it. And I ran out of Last on Earth titles and videos like four years ago. So that's why we have the live streams instead of the videos. Because there's like nothing else to do. Like we can play, we can do a raid, but I can't really make a video out of it. Like I can do a live stream, we can chat here together, we can have fun. But like I can't really make a video out of it. Like what I'm going to put in the video, like raiding a base player one, two, three, four. Like it's just stupid. So whenever there is like new video, whenever there is a new update or something, I am going to make a video on it. Because it's pretty easy to make a video on that thing. Like, it's easy title. Like, hey, new update. Like, hey, something else is added. Helicopters added. That's awesome. But other than that, there is nothing to do. And plus, I'd rather play other games. And I might as well play Last Day on Earth. Uh, Last Day on Earth and the live stream. Uh, three, third floor and bunker alpha. And every time we'll clear something, like for example here right now, we'll go to clear bunker alpha. I can actually chat with you. If I'm gonna clear bunker alpha on the live stream every day alone, then what I'm really gonna comment there? I've commented that bunker alpha for like five years. Like what else I can say about it? Hey guys, we're killing the frenzy giant. So to kill that frenzy giant, you have to wall trick it. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, I've done the same commentary on that frenzy giant already for, like, as I said, for five years. So during the live stream, at least I can communicate with you guys. We can talk about something. We can talk about food or whatnot. Or whatever else. So yeah. That's why there are last day on Earth live streams and not videos. Because there's nothing to do in videos. Oh my god, Sick, thank you for such a detailed explanation. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Let's get the the carrots. And that's it. I think we are ready to go. All right, so I have enough weapons for the third floor. We definitely don't need anything else except maybe a couple of tickets. Hey, let's get some extra tickets, ladies and gents. Let's get some red tickets, some yellow and green tickets. That's it. Excuse me, orange tickets. Have you ever killed the witch with melee weapons and uh, hummus? Okay, the hummus part, I'm gonna avoid it, but the with melee weapons... No. Why, why was I thinking it for such a long time? No, I haven't killed it. Maybe if we use few C4s, then we'd be able to kill her, but that'll require lots of healing items. So I think it is possible to kill the witch with only melee weapons. And with C4s. If we explode those blobs. It's like you should create another channel for talking like Cyric talks. Why would I create another channel for Cyric talking when we talk here? Why would we create another channel for that? And what I'm going to talk about on the other channel. All right, guys. Need the oh, you already gave the password. <laughs> that is epic. Guys, you know what? There is it's there is negative delay on the live stream. Like there was like what we've decided that maybe there's like a seven second delay on the live stream. It's actually negative five second delay on the live stream. You know what I want from you even before I say it. You already knew that I wanted the password and you gave it to me. Three, five, four. Six seven three five four six seven three five four six seven. Seems like a fake password. It was a fake password. Damn it! I trusted you. I trusted you. 
three two three five four three two three five four there we go that worked three two three five four okay thank you guys for bamboozling me I want to say that our trust between me and you is broken but it's been broken now for a long time you've you kept bamboozling me with those passwords. So there's that. Stories of growing up with Happy Cyric. There are absolutely no stories of growing up with Happy Cyric. Like I literally had no stories. Last day on Earth podcast. I mean, we can say that this is like some sort of a podcast between me and you guys. This is like a last day on Earth podcast. All right, let's open up the red crates, the yellow and the green crates. All right, we've gotten a Glock, a double Glock here. Like in the True Man Show. The True Man Show. I might have watched The True Man Show, but I'm not really certain if that's the, the... If that's the movie we were talking about. The True Man Show. What is it? Or maybe that's not it. No, The True Man Show. I haven't seen it probably. Or maybe I've seen... Maybe I haven't seen it. I probably haven't seen it. I have no idea what that is. So I haven't seen it. Okay. That's the movie with Jim Carrey. I haven't seen it. So yeah, we're gonna quickly speed run through this third floor and then we can go for the second raid of the day. When you wander off and get lost, I bet there are like five of those stories. I mean, like everybody has like some sort of growing up stories, right? But I don't th remember now any stories worth mentioning like I I the point is I've even told lots of stories here on the channel already like stories about my uncle I remember that used to be a meme but I honestly don't remember a single story that I told here uh, on the channel about that uncle I totally don't know a single story like I don't remember what I've said what I what was worth mentioning like it doesn't even wrap in my mind can't wrap it around my head like what did I talk about my uncle on the live stream here I just don't remember sometimes a good story just pops in the head and maybe it's worth sharing we can actually kill all those French giants with grenades so wait let's maybe save them we'll pop them with grenades later I want horror stories. Well, luckily I didn't have any horror stories growing up. <laughs> so sadly, I'm not going to be able to tell you any horror stories. Yeah, I'll probably just get the grenade to kill all of those frenzy giants. That'll be big brain. He built a pier for the neighbor, that's all I know. Well, he did build a pier for the neighbor, but... Oh, I remember the telling a story when he was... Uh, building that pier. I don't remember. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I do know that he was building a pier. There is that. Happy Sayak and his uncle. I 
remember how the story told about your sleepwalking a long time ago? Yeah. Maybe I've talked about sleepwalking as well. As I said, I've spoke here about a lot of things. And most of the things I wouldn't even remember. Like, even if I wanted to remember, I can't remember them. Like, if I'm gonna, like, open now an older live stream, like, probably that entire live stream is gonna be, like, a... a new live stream to me. If I'm gonna open a live stream, like, from a year ago. Alright, let's get this. Let's loot this chest. Wait, why did I kill both of those frenzy giants? We were supposed to kill them with grenades. Already wasted some of those frenzy giants. Plus, we've gotten two grenades already. Save giants. Yes, guys, we should save those giants. I apologize. We should save them. Definitely. Wall trick with a weapon. With a gun. Alright, boomer. That's it, we're about like halfway done through this third floor. There isn't much left for us to do here. This room done. And I just remember that a few days ago, maybe even yesterday, maybe two days ago, developers have sh shared another sneak peek. We have- I've already shown you this thing, but a boom, there will be some sort of a... Like, two new workbenches coming out and you'll be able to build those things in the settlement. I don't know what those things are gonna do. Apparently one of those workbenches, like some of you said, it'll be making like some sort of a corrugated metal. That's all I know about it. Where that'll be useful, f uh, where will that be used for? I don't know. What 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 that'll be used for? I don't know. Let's get the orange ticket. Roof maker nine thousand. That'll be the roof maker nine k. There's an ugly chair this season. I mean, they did give some sort of an armchair in the season pass. Yes. Are purple crates worth it for blueprints? I mean, if you want purple blueprints, then yes, they're worth it, but... You don't really need a lot of purple blueprints. Like a spread set blueprint is alright, and there are a few other purple blueprints that you might need, but... Most of the... Most of the weapons are gonna be good enough even without the purple blueprints. Like, I've made video about mods in the game that don't require... Like, uh, about the mod... About all the mods in the game. All the best mods, the best common and regular mods, whatever they're called. Like, you can have this M16, for example. You don't really need this red laser. You can put a green laser and it'll be as good. Same thing for the AK. You can have a really nice AK without purple mods. No, I didn't mean to... Uh, actually, we can just gather them right now. I killed it already. There are like only few savage giants, frenzy giants left. What's the point? What is the point, guys, to even gather them with the grenades anymore? I killed most of them. I ruined it. What level are you in the season pass? We are level 26.
we're level 26 in that season pass. So yeah, we have a Frenzy Giant there. No Frenzy Giants there. Apparently we've killed it, but I didn't loot this chest. So let's loot the locker. So there will be maybe two or three frenzy giants left and then I think we're done. So it was really pointless to gather them with those grenades. I should have killed zero frenzy giants. I should have saved all of them. Then it would have been worth it. Look at this. I even killed a frenzy giant here. I killed them everywhere. There isn't a single frenzy giant left on that side. There we go. There are probably only three frenzy giants left here and that's it. This dude, let's loot the locker and that's it. There's only one more frenzy giant left and then we can go back to the base and do our second raid. The first raid of the day that we've done was all right. Like I'll be happy if the second raid is as good as the first raid of the day. Obviously would be better if it was even better than the first raid, but yeah. Yo, Maxim Linik, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. That's so it. We have all the coupons. We have looted everything. I'm just going to check this side as well. Maybe I've missed something, but I kind of doubt it. We've looted these crates. There's got to be probably only one more room with those toxic spitters. And then we're done. Oh no, we even clear the room with those toxic spitters. That's it, the, the, the chest is looted as well. So time for us to skedaddle from here. Let's get the loot. I missed the first raid. What kind of loot did you get? That was like a few med kits, some healing, some food, some guns, some thick cloth. Like just random things, but there were all right things. Like I think that raid ended up being like three and a half out of ten or like four out of ten, something like that. So it wasn't like a like a 10 out of 10 raid, but it was a decent okay raid. All right, we need to make space for these weapons. Maybe I'll drop some things in the chopper, then we'll come back here to get those grenades. Perhaps. Is it possible to get rich without Bunker Alpha? No. But Cyric! No. You have to be clearing Bunker Alpha. That's it. That's the easiest answer. Bunker Alpha is your friend. Not your enemy. Sounds like a boomer thing to say, like, hey, books are your friends. Make sure to read them. Yeah, right. Bunker Alpha is the key to the game, says a try for all. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's get this. And I think we've gotten everything from these lockers. There's nothing really important that I'd like to take. So let's bring all this loot back to the base and let's go to the second uh, for the second raid. It's like, have you ever played any of the Silent Hill games? No, sadly, I haven't played any Silent Hill games. I have played Resident Evil games, but none of the Silent Hill games. Armor. We have a lot of armor at the base. I don't really have probably enough even space to store it there, so we are fine. 
we're fine with that armor. Sarek, any idea on how to build the motorboat engine quickly? Well, just... You mean the motorboat or the motorboat engine? Because I'm pretty certain those motorboat engines are available in the sewers. And that's how you build the boat. Just clear the sewers and get the required items to build that boat and you'll build the boat. How to build the boat quicker? Just build the boat, bro. That's the method of building the boat. All right, we almost sorted out the inventory as well. Just this dropped here, here, and the few weapons that we got. Where should I get that refrigerator? You cannot get the refrigerator, it's unavailable. That is it. Let's talk to the raiders. And let's do it. We need to craft an entire stack of first aid kits. So let's get three stacks of bandages. Two stacks of alcohol. And we can roll for that epic raid. Just as always, we also need the, the auto clicker. Because I'm not crafting that thing manually. We really need to get a button that will let you craft 10 things at the same time. I think it'll be really worth it. Instead of clicking it 20 times, you could click it just twice. If that saves you 18 clicks, I think that's that'd be a very worthy update. All right, we've dropped that there. This and this best way to do any task, just do it. Yes, indeed. You want to get the boat, just assemble the boat, bro. You want to get the chopper? Well, for the chopper, you got to clear bunker alpha. So that's what I can say. But for anything else, just do it. Mm, let's get the the hatchets. What is the benefit of the new added base? No benefit. So far, literally, there's no benefit. Maybe like, sorry, you must be trolling me. There's, there's literally no benefit. Okay, we need wood. At least as of right now, developers might add something later. But as of right now, this new base does. Totally nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. Like, the only tip and trick that I can give about that base is that... Instead of running to your home, you can run to that settlement. And sometimes you can save a little bit of energy. Like, running from a raid back to your base will cost you 9 energy. But if you run to the settlement, it will cost you 5 energy. Again, it depends on your active skills or something. Because... There are some passive skills on your passive skills. And some of the passive skills can cost less fuel or some less energy or whatever. But you got the point. Because sometimes people ask me, I was like, why do you cost... Why does it cost for you 5 energy and for me it's 7 or 8 energy? It's because of the passive skills. The higher level you are, the more skills you'll have. Colon closing parenthesis. Be... So the smiley face says Ikazi. Thank you Ikazi for the super chat. Thank you for the smiley face. Ikazi, welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Let's get the C4. And hey, let's go to the raid. And there's something new to do. See, I guess we were talking about that settlement. Yeah, there's something new to do in that settlement. But yeah, the developers said that they'll add some more stuff to that settlement. They'll add a bunch of permanent content there. I don't know when. They said uh, during the fall. So we just have to wait and see. 
we go to wait and see. All right, player 6476. Player 6476. Player 6476. Last on Earth. Raid player 6476. My mind is probably going to be blown about... Oof! Oh my god, psych, really? Yes. This Actually, this raid is pretty good. In the beginning, I was kind of lying. But it is a decent-ish raid. I just need to know how to enter it and which chest to open up. As this base has a abnormal amount of chests. Yo, Ikazi! You welcome. Thank you, Ikazi. Thank you for the super chat. Sorry for butchering the name. But thanks for being here, mate. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything. And yeah, you're just in time for the epic for the raid. I just don't know which chest is that. Wait, I want to know what. Okay, not this chest. Wait, I want to see. Okay, this chest here. That's it. So that's all I needed to know. The chest over there and uh, and a C4 from whatever that side. Let's go. We'll need to get a C4. Let's go, ladies and gents. Hi, I'm a new sub. Is there any chance we'd play No Man's Sky? I think I've made a video plus a live stream, maybe even two videos in a live stream. I don't know, but I've made a some content on about No Man's Sky. All right, I think we can place a C4 on this wall. Three second research rate. Well, that was a bit longer than three seconds. But hey, let's drop that C4 here-ish. Wait, we maybe don't even need... Oh no, we do need a C4. Oh my goodness. I can't drop a C4 in the wall because of... <sighs> That's it, I'm chopping it down, ladies and gents. I'm chopping this thing down, I'm exploding it. Hopefully that'll work. There we go, and probably this chest is gonna have some decent loot. Except, I don't know where I'll store it. I'm gonna be like, Psych, what kind of loot will get there? Well, you're about to see it. Did you see on the minimap, the zombie was running and it died because of the spike traps. Very nice. And even before you say it, no, you cannot kill the big one on spikes as it will restore its health. When it gets below like 300 or 400. There we go, guys. We've got a bunch of turkey. But the fridge is full. We already have like probably a thousand turkey at the base. And the doggos, the doggos are fed as well. So how will I store this loot? I don't have a slightest clue. Okay, we got a bunch of transistors. Feed the dogs. I already fed them guys. I gave them a couple of hundred turkeys. So I really don't know what we'll do with that stuff. A little bit of iron, which epic, but I don't have space for it in the base as well. We have enough of it. A little bit of coal. Which maybe we are... I mean, if we ever need coal, we'll just get coal. Just give them 300 turkeys. But I've given them a few hundred turkeys already. Last time. So they're all probably grown up. Like, we don't even need to feed them right now because they're all grown up. And yes, you only feed the puppies. That's how real life works as well. You only feed the puppies and after the doggo's grown up, that's it. They don't require food. That's what last day on earth taught me. All right, let's open up this chest. Some batteries, which, hey, are cool and all, but we have enough batteries at the base. I'll try to soften some of these chests. Let 
there we go. And we'll see how many of them I'll be able to open up. Wood. Um, nothing useful. Stop it! Coal. Stop! The, 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 the iron. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Uh, let's heal up with this. Wait, let's uh, leave probably this base. And Ikezy, thanks for the super chat. Let's leave this base. If you want, I doubled it one more time. Love your raids. There's no need to double anything. Thanks, Ikezy. Thanks for being here, mate. Thanks, Ikezy, for everything. And uh, we have raided this base. We have got an insane amount of turkey. So yeah, probably let's go and let's feed that turkey to these doggos. We'll see how much of it we can store at the base. If you want, I double it one more time. Love your raids, Xoxo. Uh, so yeah, Ikazi, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for everything. No need to double anything else. Thanks for being here, mate. Have you ever played a Metal Gear game? Again, I haven't played any Metal Gear games. I know. I know. All right, check this out, guys. That's what I was talking about. We fed the Duggos. And none of them are growing up. Like, all of them... I mean, there's one gooper growing up for 18 hours. So we can give... A little bit of food. That's it. We fed them for one day. I have no idea how much food was that. But that was a lot of food. That was an insane amount of food. All right, let's drop that stuff in the fridge, but as I said, it's probably full. Look at this, the fridge is full. We have a bunch of carrots here. 900 carrots and 600, 900, 1,200, 1,500, 1,800, and we have 2,100 food. 2,100 turkey, ladies and gentlemen. That is insane, and the rest doesn't fit in any of my chests. Oh, here we can maybe fit it. All right. And the rest doesn't fit. I'm just going to give it to the doggos. Oh my god, it's like, finally, they'll eat it! Yes, they'll finally eat it, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, the doggos will eat the turkey. Yo, Ikazi! Too late. <laughs> Enjoy. Ikazi, thanks for everything. There was no need for... ...such generous super chats. But thank you, mate. Thank you for being here, Ikazi. Thank you for everything. Have an amazing day, Ikazi. Thanks for supporting the stream. Thanks for supporting the channel. Really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Eat that one cooked turkey. It's taking up room in the chest. Uh, where is it? Where is that cooked turkey? Oh, there we go. We made some more space. There we go. It's Thanksgiving. Okay. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Alright, let's drop these hatchets here. Let's drop the C4 in one of these chests. And let's probably go and let's pay the raiders. Breed the doggos. We are gonna breed the doggos when raiders ask us to do so. I don't do anything unless raiders tell me to do so. You have to be either my mom to tell me what to do or a raider. There's that. There we go. Let's pay them with one electronic circuit. Let's call them on the radio. Delete the one level dogs. Uh, for now, we'll keep them. As I said, maybe we'll breed them later. When raiders will ask us to do so. All right, we have some bulls to kill, some other things to do, which we will do. But hey, guys, now it's the, now it's that time of the live stream where we will do some speed cubing, guys. One speed cubing, speed cube timer. Let's do it. One speed cube timer, and then we will wrap up the live stream, and then we will go. There we go. There's this thing. I got you to eat that turkey. Yes, indeed, I would have eaten it. So yeah, thanks for letting me know about that turkey. But right now, guys, let's do some speed cubing. Our personal best, as you can see here. Hopefully, you can see it. It's 35 uh, seconds. And Mantas, 119, one, thanks for the super chat. Did my first raid yesterday. Got 20 Glocks, 
but they countered. What? Got 20 Glocks, but they countered. I have no idea what countered supposed to mean. You meant they were used? I don't know. Well, thanks, mate, for the donation and congrats on your Glocks. So yeah, that's epic. Congrats that you've gotten an epic raid. And yeah, we'll do, guys, the... One speed cube solved, that's it. That's it, now let's do some random spins. It's like, what are your three top favorite bike skins? I literally don't have a favorite bike skin. Probably the pumpkin bike skin is kind of alright because it's huge. But other than that, that's it. So guys, I think we've scrambled the cube. Now let's do some inspection. And let's go for it. I'll be happy if we get sub 50. That's it. I'll be happy with sub 50. If it's not sub 50, I'll be very disappointed and very angry. Um, that's it. I don't know what we'll do, but... We'll do apparently something. Let's go, ladies and gents. I don't know what we'll do. That's it. Bam, 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 bam. Messed up some of the things, ladies and gents. Horrible time, horrible time. Wow, that'll be terrible. long time oh my goodness wow 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 ladies and gents wow I can't even say anything that's it we are deleting this result ladies and gentlemen that's it this result is is not uh good that's it i refuse to accept that result ladies and gents i have messed up i have messed up badly guys one minute and 20 seconds that is the worst time that we've gotten in a really really long time It was so easy. It was it was easy. Well, I'm doing it one more time and I'll skedaddle. That's it. If I get another bad thing, I'll leave it. Down back, right, front. I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about that one. I just messed up so many solves. I just there's so many things there. That's it, we scrambled it. You know what, that's it, that's enough of research. We don't need to research. There we go, and one more. Where is it, damn it.
It's 40 seconds again! Oh my goodness, my hands don't work today. Got him at least sub one minute. That's still bad. That's it, guys. We are wrapping up the live stream. Clearly, the hands don't work today. Clearly, guys, the hands don't work. It's been a long time since we've gotten such bad times. But again, I haven't touched the Rubik's Cube since last time we solved it. So we needed some warming up. Like, if, if I just warm up a bit more, guys, it would be better. Please believe me. In any case, guys, it's fine. No sub 50s today. Our best was 35 seconds. But seriously, today we messed up. But it's time for us to roll, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> what can I say? You didn't drink milk today. That's why. Maybe. Maybe that's why. Maybe, maybe. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for everything. Take care, guys, and see you tomorrow with another probably missed survival video. And then we, after tomorrow, we'll have another last on Earth video. So take care, everybody, and see you later, guys. And yeah, next time, maybe I'll be better prepared and we'll get a bit better speed cube times. So yeah, take care, guys, and peace out. Take care, take care, everybody. Take care, take care, guys.